Hey everybody, did it really here? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Got Going Club. And another reminder, we're not allowed to read and air the endings of this game. So I can go up to the very last chapter, but I cannot give the endings on the channel. So please keep that in mind. And for alternate readings and other routes, you can visit Rob's Bertame Adventures or Bromantic Gaming. Links will be in the description. But today we are going to start with Toma. And this is slightly like the uh, Oran High School Host Club premise, as some people have pointed out. And I thought initially, but I didn't want to make that joke since I had made the joke kind of recently in Charming Empire about knocking over a vase. But um, yeah, it is. it does remind me a little bit of that. So anyway, I'm going with my surly Toma here. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. The next day, my eyes snap open. Wait, where am I? As alertly as I awake, my thoughts are a little hazy. I soon figure out why. It's because of the unfamiliar room and furniture. That's right, I just moved here. I changed into my uniform and go to the dining hall. Perhaps it's because it's so early, but I don't see very many students eating. Um, do I need to take a tray with me? But you'll need a tray. The food is hot. Sorry, another Eddie Azard reference for anybody who's never watched any of his stand-ups. You totally should. They're hilarious. Since I got home so late last night, not only did I miss eating dinner at the dining hall, I also missed the instructions on all this. I should probably ask someone. I guess nobody took her under their wing to explain things. Oh, um, I asked some girls in the dining hall. I just transferred here yesterday. I don't know the system here. Okay, follow me. I'll show you. Ah, dorm friend one. I actually have friends in this game. There are females in the school. As they teach me about the dining hall, they allow me to sit with them. And I have been accepted. Excuse me. After we finish breakfast, they invite me to walk to school with them. Ah, <sighs> getting off to a good start. I don't think you can get lost since there's only one path to take you from the dorm to the school, but I'll tell you just in case. The path is surrounded by trees and peaceful nature. Maybe it's because we're talking as we walk, but we make it to the front gate in no time. I can't believe I'm actually going to this school from now on. <laughs> Welcome to Kirika Academy! She looks a little embarrassed as she turns and opens her arms in a welcoming manner. When I start to laugh, I see the building I came upon yesterday right behind her. Hey, is that old school building? Oh, no way! Look over there! Why now? I've never even met him before! My question is drowned out by their shrieking. I wonder what's gotten into them. It's like they've seen some celebrity. They have a semi-celebrity. I follow their gaze to see a male student standing alone by the front gate. Is it... Toma? Oh! As I recognize him from yesterday, he's already walking toward me. I find myself rudely staring at his stride. What a beautiful gait! But... I could say he has a mature demeanor, but he seems almost too composed. Maybe because he's so expressionless. Oh no, he's coming this way! Calm down, J just take a deep breath. What is it, you two? What do you mean, what is it? When he stops in front of us, the two girls freeze as if they've forgotten how to even breathe. Huh? Come with me. Me? The two girls are staring daggers at me. Toma, you just made me lose the first two friends I made. Thanks a lot. What? Koizumi? You know Sakai? Since when? We chatted a little yesterday. Hurry up. Oh, okay. He starts walking without even waiting for me. Um... Thank you for bringing me this far. I'll see you later. I say, but there's no reply. I turn and see my friend's bag just slip down from her shoulder. Don't be that despondent. I'll be back. I'll explain things later. I've been told to show you around the school. Well, it's about time that's being done. Oh, thank you. Um, about yesterday. Seeing Sakai's face, I slowly begin to realize that everything that happened yesterday actually happened. <sighs> He, he doesn't have to seem so bothered. I haven't even said anything yet. Never mind. Forced into silence, I simply follow after him. Just bear with it. We walk all around the school, and I have no idea where I even am anymore. You're not a very good guide if you got me lost. 
I thought he was supposed to show me around, but we've just been walking, and he hasn't offered any sort of explanation or anything. Uh, aren't you supposed to point out buildings and rooms and stuff, something? Sakai hasn't talked to me at all, but he would sometimes remember to turn around and look to make sure I'm still following him. Well, that's something at least. Huh, <sighs> to be honest, he's walking so fast, I have to really work to keep up. You've been breathing heavily since we started. Are you not feeling well? N no You're so clueless, Toma. You're walking too fast. It's Mina Kawa from yesterday. He looks like the type that should be clueless. I'm surprised he gets it. <laughs> oh, you're from yesterday. I'm sorry. I was actually supposed to be the one to meet you, but I got called to another meeting. So that explains why someone is ill-suited to be a guide as Sakai here was doing it. Um, what was that? That's the warning bell. We're in the same class. Let's go. Oh, okay. Why'd they send in the show me the school so late? As the three of us enter the classroom, all the talking stops at once. The room is filled with silence. Huh? Huh? What's going on? Your seat is over there. I had them put you next to me. Oh, okay. Thank you. Are you calling dibs already? What? No way! Did you hear that? Yeah, what does that mean? Did she go with Minakawa and Sakai then? I suddenly felt very uncomfortable, and I kept my head down as I followed behind Minakawa. Is something wrong? N no Wow, how can they not care when they're at the center of so much attention? <sighs> I can hear Sakai sigh behind me. I turn to look at him. Minakawa, if you really want what's best for her, she should sit next to me. What? Why's that? Because he is superior in every way. You wouldn't understand even if I told you. Minakawa doesn't look like he agrees with this. I check and see that the seat next to Sakai seems free as well. Oh, um, I think I might prefer sitting next to Sakai as well. The reason is simple. Minakawa doesn't understand the present situation, and Sakai does. Hmm, okay. I'll talk to the teacher for you then. Minakawa smiles as if he isn't even bothered. Um, thank you. I quietly whisper to Sakai. He doesn't change his expression as he looks down at me. Sitting next to Minakawa will only bring unwanted attention your way. While he doesn't seem like a person who's interested in others, he can still be so considerate. Thank you, you're very kind. I didn't do it for you or anything. It just reminded me of a bad memory. Hmm, I wonder what that means. What could that mean? Something sinister that we'll find out later. Well, I think it's time everyone was introduced to their new classmate. Koizumi, please come to the front. E yes, okay. I walk up to the front like I'm asked to. As I do, I get nervous, since everyone's staring at me. I stand by the podium, and I'm able to see everyone's inquisitive stares. Uh, um... What should I say here? I should start with my name. Is it true that Sakai was showing her around the school? Why is she transferring at this time of year anyway? I can hear them whisper to each other. I feel like I'm getting way more attention than I deserve here. W what am I going to do? Quiet. Homeroom has already started. Sakai's quiet voice echoes around the room. All of the students who had been talking look uncomfortable as they close their mouths. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm Akane Koizumi. I know I'm transferring in the middle of the first semester, but it's nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. The scattered applause slowly builds. Ah, <sighs> I feel a little relieved. You already have a seat picked out? Yes. Okay then, please take your seat. Now, I have some important announcements. Homeroom ends after our teacher makes a few routine announcements. As I prepare for first period, I lean over and talk to Sakai next to me. Um, thank you for earlier. You've done so much for me today already. I haven't really done anything you need to thank me for. No, that's not true. Whatever, I don't really care. But would you mind being quiet for me? Oh, okay. Sorry. Sakai may not look like he cares, but he keeps a calm eye on his surroundings. Because he really likes things peaceful. What a strange person. As morning ends, Sakai gets up from his desk and leaves the classroom almost immediately. 
I would have liked to have asked him about the nightclub a little bit. In that case... I look toward Minakawa. Hey, Minakawa! Let's eat lunch together! Oh, are you heading to the dining hall, Takizawa? Can we go with you? They seem busy. Although this may be my first day, there's something I've already found out. Sakai, Minakawa, and Takizawa are all very popular with the female students. Yeah, I've noticed. Pretty obvious. It would probably be best not to go too close to them in public. It seems pretty clear that the students who were at that club yesterday are not normal. I'm sure the outfits had something to do with it, but they're so dazzling. I guess there's no sense in thinking about it now. Anyway, I need to get to lunch. Looks like I'm heading to the dining hall alone. Yeah, you'll find people once you get there. I wonder what class those girls I got to know earlier are from. Eh, they might not be so happy to see you next time. <laughs> I walk down the hallway while thinking about the girls from earlier. Then suddenly, I hear female voices up ahead of me. Kakutazaka, you're so cute today, too! Please, come eat lunch with us today. Hmm? I guess I'm in a good mood today. I suppose I could grace you with my presence. Well, somebody's got a bit of an ego on him. He was at the club yesterday, too. He hides a smile as he walks with them over to the dining hall. He's so popular. What if I go to the dining hall and he actually says hello to me? We'll just say hello back. I remember what had happened in the classroom, and I find myself making a U-turn. Oh, but what am I going to do about lunch? As I stand there wondering, I hear the female students in front of me again. Oh, Sakai? Even if it's just for today, we'd like you to spend some time with us. We've all liked you for such a long time. Hey, stop pushing me. Would you be quiet, and could you not follow me? He's surrounded by those girls. It's kind of amazing. I love those kind of guys that just think of these groups of girls as nothing but an annoyance. Like, just get out of my way. Sakai makes his way through the circle of students and walks away without changing his expression. W what is going on with this school? Feeling like I've come to a different world, I decide to skip lunch and head out instead. I head toward the old school building, but it's actually pretty nice when I look at it in the sunlight. I wonder if the other students even know what's inside there. As I get near the old school building, I see that there's a green space in the back. I walk behind and see a small garden. Oh, this is very relaxing. There are flowers in this miniature garden, and most importantly, it's quiet. Ah, oh, just the kind of place Sakai would like. I approach the garden, stepping lightly. Wait, I think there's someone here. Who's there? It is I, your princess. Sakai? I stop in surprise. Sakai stands from the bench, looking a little angry as he stares at me. Oh, it's you. Why are you here? Don't tell me that you followed me here. No, I was just wandering around the campus when I ended up here. I see. Sakai sits back down on the bench, as if he's lost all interest in me. What should I do? There are so many questions I have for him. Maybe I'll see if I can sit next to him. I walk up to Sakai and he looks up. I think he's surprised that someone's suddenly standing in his light. Do you want something? You. When I go to nod, I spot the nutritional supplement in his hand. Um, what's that? It's a meal that's calculated all your daily nutritional needs. Can't you tell? Nope. I, I didn't mean that. Is that your lunch? I don't think that's any of your business. That's true, but... There really isn't much I can say after he says something like that. It feels like he's slamming a door shut in my face. So, how long are you going to be standing there? Oh, um... Why don't you sit down? Can I? Do whatever you want. Thank you. When I sit next to Sakai, I don't know if it's coming from him, but I notice there's a faint citrus scent. It suits the garden. Ah, it feels so nice. And the flowers are so pretty. Wait, I can't doze off now. I need to ask him something. Actually, sitting down next to him like this, it's really hard to start a conversation. Uh, um, is it okay if I ask you a few questions, since there's nobody else around right now? What? What is the Academy Club? Didn't we explain it to you yesterday? It's a secret club that's held in the old school building. Kirika Academy graduates 
and major university figures are invited. Is the academy really allowed to make a club like that? It is our job to wait on the invited guests. And now I'm a part of it too. Yes, but only the back room work. We were just a little short-handed. I see. You'll probably figure out the rest over time. Sakai speaks dismissively as he listlessly eats away at his meal supplement. I guess I'm probably not going to be able to ask him anything in detail. Do you think I could get out of helping? I'm already uneasy about being so far away from my parents. I'd rather avoid putting any more on my plate. That club is top secret. I can't imagine you'd be allowed to stay at the academy if you refuse. Well, even if they got rid of me, I could still tell people anyway. R really? I can't get expelled. What can you expect? You're still new. You haven't built any trust yet. That's still no reason to turn me into a slave. And besides, you're not doing it alone. I don't think you need to worry that much. What? Does that mean I can come to you for help? I really do feel anxious about all this. I'm not saying that. He's saying go to somebody else for help. But... I forgot to mention it before, but you start today. Be sure to come to the old school building before nightfall. T today So much has been happening. I guess I have to accept my fate. Um, well, I'm in your hands, both in class and at the nightclub. Sakai doesn't respond. Does that mean he doesn't plan on helping me? <sighs> I guess I just have to do my best. Just then, there's a low growling sound. Oh, um... That was just... Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. I forgot that I didn't need any lunch. Without changing his expression, Sakai holds up an unopened meal supplement. <laughs> oh, um, uh... I'm sure you won't find this to be that satisfying, but it's better than nothing to eat. I am so ashamed. There's no hiding my hunger at this point. I take the meal supplement without fighting. I'll take you up on your offer. Thanks, Sakai. <laughs> he just ignored me. I take off the cap and drink it up. It's cool, refreshing, and quite tasty. I thought it'd taste more like medicine, but it's actually pretty good. Really? Oh. Mm. Come on, you should be blushing at that. I feel like this should be a blush moment for some reason. <laughs> Sakai suddenly stiffens and stands up from the bench. Oh, um, Sakai? I'm leaving. I have things to do. Don't tell me when I was here. What? Um, um... Sakai leaves before I can stop him. Where did that come from? But my question is soon answered. The female students arrive, only just missing Sakai. Hey, is it true that Sakai came this way? Hey, you! Do you know where Sakai is? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know. There's still time. Let's go look for him. They all head towards the school together. He wanted to avoid them. Wow, I didn't even notice them coming at all. It must be hard to be so popular. <laughs> Night falls and I sneak out of my dorm, heading toward the old school building. As I walk to the nightclub, I see that everyone's already there. Finally. What, am I late? No, not particularly. Sakai is so hard to read. Well, I still have a lot to learn. I look forward to working with you all. Let's get started. Ouch, ignored. Again? Okay. After a while, the guests begin to arrive, and the staff members begin to attend them. Almost like a real nightclub, they visit each, sit down at a table, and engage in conversation. The only difference I can see is that the guests are all wearing masks to hide their faces. The guests are a little creepy. Yeah, I agree. But everyone else looks so cool in their suits. They appear so much older. As I look closer, I see that they're each entertaining guests. While everyone else is smiling politely, Sakai is looking more cold than usual. He is waiting on a guest, isn't he? It's a little worrying, but... Once again, we miss out on seeing Toma smile today. Please don't tell me you only come in hopes of seeing me smile. Oh, I guess not. Well, I'll see you again soon. <laughs> a rare sight to behold, apparently. Sakai remains expressionless as he bows his head to see the guests out. After a little while, the next guest comes. Toma, I came to see you again. 
You'll join me at my table, won't you? If that's what you wish. He says rather indifferently, and she nods enthusiastically. She's shown to her table with a big smile on her face. I guess Sakai is popular here too. As I feel this isolation, I decide to concentrate on the back room work that I'm still not quite used to yet. Are we going to talk about this back room work, what it is exactly? They told me to get the drinks and fruit, but I'm a little nervous that I'm going to screw this up. The drinks are non-alcoholic, but they still require recipes like a cocktail. I look at the recipe and check the syrups and mixes we have. What's the matter? Ah, you startled me! I jump. I turn and see Sakai standing right behind me. I don't need jump scares here, man! I was calling for you from the doorway, but you weren't answering. Really? Sorry. Can you do it? Y yes I'll do my best. Oh, you wanted something from me? Can I get some mixed nuts? Also, can you wash this glass? Yes, I can. Do you have another drink order? Don't worry about that. I'll make it. So Sakai says as he walks out to the banquet hall, where he skillfully makes three drinks at the bar. That's so cool. He doesn't look like a high school student at all. Sakai finishes making the drink in no time. Oh, the mixed nuts. Here. Thanks. Later. I guess he did notice how worried I was. He's really nice, just like I thought. I catch myself following Sakai with my eyes. At lunch, he made it seem like he wasn't going to help me, but maybe he had a change of heart. This act of kindness isn't really lining up with the cold attitude he shows with the other students. At this point, I have no idea exactly how much more I'll be able to learn about him. And that's the end of episode one with Toma. Sakai? Sorry if there were any audio troubles in that recording. I, I'm recording during the day for once, and that's always difficult because there's so much background noise. But, uh, and yeah, my voice isn't exactly at peak condition at the moment for some reason. I'm kind of stuffy. So I hope that turned out okay. <sighs> well, yep, I figured he's, you know, like, I know he's a stoic type, so I figured he'd be starting out kind of slow and, and uh, terse, but we'll worm our way in here for sure. So hope to see you in that next episode or some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye bye everybody.